Muslim America are not familiar with what the military or the FBI or the CIA can do to protect America from ill-minded people today. You see, if you're a person who is a perpetrator of treason, it means you are attacking a man without reason. Even if you have a reason, it doesn't mean that you have the right to do this. And in life, we have the right to our lives. In death, we have the right to God. But when we're alive, we have the right to freedom of choices because we are America and we know that we have to hear everyone's voices. The liars of America never think what they're doing is wrong. The liars of America never think that they have forgotten to sing our song. My country, tis of thee, is this land of sweet liberty, of thee I sing. If you don't know that music, I encourage you to look it up on YouTube to find it in a child's groove, but openly, you need to know it by heart. American citizenry is a honor for most of us, a privilege for patriots, and openly is something that we must do to save ourselves from the illnesses and the epidemics, the pandemics, the posturing of other nations. The reason that the American president and vice president are doing so much to build ties with the rest of the world is because Trump was pretty arrogant when he interacted with them. On the one hand, that was marvelous for America. Because while I'm not a huge Trump proponent, and I'm definitely not a Republican, I can tell you that many hearts, more and more hearts are one with humility and indifference or dignity and patriotism for many nations, as opposed to arrogance and rudeness and lewdness and vice. You see, vanity, vice, vandalism, and violence are all the things that an ill-willed person commits in relation to someone else. It's an act of treason without reason, without sense, without common sense, and without any kind of monetary sense.